Straw Family Farm. I'm Christy, and as you can see, RJ is off at a rodeo, and uh, oh, it's just been one of those weeks, one of those days. Um, it is August 19th, and this is update 148 or 149. I'm not sure which. Now I feel like RJ. It'll say in the header. <laughs> anyway, okay, so. Um, Let's move right on into it. There's not a whole lot going on. Um, a whole lot of nothing going on. Let's put it that way. So first um, is in the barn stalls. Good. Excuse me. I just it's late and I just got out of the shower. I've been out mowing. It was 108, 109 today, and um, apparently it's a hazard to be a mower at my house. So I'll explain that later. Um, but anyway, I was out mowing, so I had to take a shower, and my hair is making my shirt wet, and I just it's life and I'm a real person. That's all I can say. <laughs> um, Alright, in the barn stalls. I do have notes here because I can't think. Um, the barking you hear is Jethro who's going to set Moose off, but our neighbor's dogs have been coming down to a point where this morning I just told RJ just to get a gun and go shoot him. I, I was so tired of it. I haven't slept in two days. Um, they come and chase the sheep and um, we have Layton, who is being weaned. Not really being weaned. She just is big enough to be out on the pasture. And she doesn't like to be there without her mom. Because she doesn't suck anymore. But I don't know what to call it. Because she just doesn't want to be away from her mom. Her mom um, has to be milked and she doesn't. So Layton has her own issues. She's out on the pasture. And at night she cries. I just got done giving her a little bit of feed. But her bawling has drawn the attention to the neighbor's dogs. When I say the neighbor's dogs, I don't just mean one or two. There's a friggin' herd of them. Um, there was three down here just this morning at one pack. And then there was several others that visited, like, I think they've got, like, six or seven dogs. She breeds them, she says. So, yeah. This is the same neighbor that was the cause of the police calling on us to verify our horses were healthy. So, just saying. Um, anyway, so we've got that going on. Uh, and it is what it is. I'm just tired. I don't want those dogs down here. They don't aren't very nice to our sheep and goats. And they have no business being down here. So, Jethro chases them off all day. I've got the, I don't know if you can see, the um, flashlight is right there. And there's actually a handgun sitting behind there so that I can shoot at them and spook them. Uh, last night I shot in the gravel and sent gravel everywhere. <laughs> I was hoping it would scare them away. I just want them to go away and stay away. Let's put it that way. So anyway, we've got that going on. Um, we are also getting ready for the fair. Um, so we've got a couple of others that, um, when I say getting ready for the fair, we're getting ready to do the petting zoo. And I want to get you to go with us, but get you, it just isn't feeling good. So we went and got another warmer. And this one is one that is not used regularly here for sheep, but it's used in uh, Australia on a regular basis. So um, we decided to give her a little bit of that. Doc said it should help. We have one other one that we're going to give it to. But the reason that we had it on hand is the fact that um, I had to worm all the kids. Um, when I got home from vacation, I know it was one that was kind of lethargic. Just the, um, and so... I had to go get some warmer, and when Gidgey started getting kind of puny, we just called the vet and said, look, this is what I have on hand. He said, give it to her. This is the, the dosage. So, um, we did. Uh, let's see. Who else? Anybody else have any issues? Durf has been going out on out into his turnout, but there's no shelter. So, I think RJ's going to start turning him out at night into that one pad that's got a ton of grass. Um, let's see. Anything else? Bidet still hasn't had a kid. She was due the 8th, was supposed to be her last day. Um, Doc said to wait till the end of the month, and if she hasn't had anything, it's time to breed her again, and she didn't take. So, is what it is. Uh, let's see. I don't think there's anything else. Um, little Bay Horse is doing good. Um, Razzy. Precious is doing amazing. Uh, all of them are doing really good. I mean, it's just practicing and, and 
moving them on. Star's over at Kevin's because I didn't want to take her for a week and then bring her back. And so she's over there. Um, I'm letting him work with her for, I don't know, like a month. I told him like four weeks would be fine, you know. Um, I think he's enjoying it. He doesn't want to say so, but he is. Um, and I don't know how many Mustangs he's done in the past. This might be his first, so that might be why he's enjoying it. I don't know. All right. Mending fences. There's a lot going on there. Um, cattle got out on the highway this week. And so um, I have bought, I went today and just started running up stuff. Um, I can't afford to do, I've got three-eighths of a mile at the very least to fence. Mm -hmm. We own a half mile and we own a half mile, but I'm only, I only have to um, redo the fence on the part for the cattle. So where the house is and then up to where the, um, what do you call it? The sheep pen, just up to where that divides. I don't have to redo. I have all that done. Um, on the upside, this is the last part of the fence we have to redo. So um, the rest of it has all been redone over time. Uh, so I went today and I picked up, I had to go pick up our feed. So then I went and I picked up a fence post to make an H, H brace. And I actually got just a landscape timber. I had two wooden posts here. And then I needed something to do the H, to do the cross part so that when you tie to it, it doesn't collapse in on itself. Um, anyway, I'm going to set that. i got to get it made, and then I'm going to get it set where I'm going to redo the fence. Um, the other tie-in is all the way down at the sheep part. It, it's a metal uh, corner post. And I don't want to have to redo all of that in barbed wire anyway because I have woven wire up there. Um, and I don't want the sheep and goats hurt on barbed wire. So the woven wire is fine, so I'm just going to put in a new H brace and tie off there where the um, cattle and the sheep divide. So I've got all the wood. I picked up the last piece of wood today to finish it. I had the two posts. Then I went and got a spool of barbed wire. I already have one spool of barbed wire. I've been buying it a little at a time. And then I have like 12 T posts and I've already put out two dozen, I think. So I'm doing it a little at a time, but it's getting a little bit more urgent and I want to, I need to get it done before winter hits. So, um, yeah, we're, we're pushing to get it done in the next couple of months. So I'm going to get the H brace made. We're going to get it in place and then we're going to get the T posts fixed all that we have and I'm going to go ahead and string the first strand of wire because I have enough um, and then I will um, in two weeks go and get another set of 12 T posts and, and a couple more spools of wire. Um, it is what it is but it has to be done. So I've got that going on. Somehow I tore up Kevin's lawnmower. Um, actually I think it's just a spring it's on the throttle. When you do the throttle, it doesn't sh 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 down here at the bottom. So I've got to figure out how to do that. Um, I went, I looked online at a diagram. The diagram showed that there was a spring. I went and bought the spring at the local farm store. Got home, and I don't think that's what it is. I don't think that's where it goes. I think I either I looked at the wrong model number or something. So. I don't know. I will figure it out tomorrow. I'm too tired to care if that's terrible or not. Worst case scenario is I blew $3.24 buying the wrong spring. It is what it is. Lee um, got my riding mower closer to being ready. He actually had it running um, except for the fact that um, then he went to fix the tire, which you just take them off and put the new one on. And the other one had a, a big hole in it. It had a big crack in it so it wouldn't hold air. I had already bought the new tire so we put it on and he didn't put the key in right so that means that the transmission is spinning but the wheel doesn't. So he's got to redo that tomorrow. <laughs> and then my riding lawnmower should be working. I have everything pretty much caught up with the mowing except for the garden. The garden is suffer suffering again. I'll work on it. <laughs> That's all I can say is if I can get my riding lawnmower going 
I can raise the deck up to the highest and kind of get it under control. Or if we can get Kevin's going tomorrow, um, then I have the spring. I just don't think that's what it is. And I can't find an online diagram of the exact Cub Cadet this is. So anyway, working on that. Oh, what else have we had to fix? Um, I don't know. I harvested everything that was in the garden. That's not in this seg segment, but um, I don't know. I think that's about it. Just a lot of, oh, and I took down the temporary, um, what do you call it? Temporary shelter. It was in the goat pen because it's not needed. There's only one, two, three sheep and two goats out there. So the shed is plenty to house five. Um, I've started my list for mending fences for getting ready for winter. So that's a good thing. Um, we still have to get the hay done, but that's another thing. Let's move on to yarn farm. Um, what have I done? We had farm visits, um, amazing farm visits. We had one from a lady who is helping us with Facebook. She is um, a marketing major and that's what she does for a living. And so she's helping me put up some better Facebook um, posts and uh, to get our Facebook page moving, get people, you know, going and all that kind of stuff. So um, I think that's about it. Uh, I tumbled Gertie's fleece, but that's as far as I've gotten. I haven't gotten anything done. I really haven't. I got the tub out there to wash it, but I haven't finished tumbling it, so it's pointless. Um, Gertie is a merino, by the way. So in the fields, I harvested the um, everything I find in the garden. I am attempting, and, and so far I have um, successfully um, seed banked mush melon or honeydew melon. It's a white. Uh, greenish white melon. I'm, I'm not a fan, but I'm going to give those seeds to the uh, community garden. Anything that I don't want to keep or that I don't want to grow, I will give to the community garden. I can't get my cucumber seeds. I, I'm trying, okay, but I want to harvest seeds for everything that we grow here and I want to do our own seed bank and do it for here at the farm and the community garden. So I have been studying a lot of things on harvesting seeds and saving seeds and that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, it is what it is. Um, just getting there. Uh, the other thing is, is that I am working on putting in a trellis system. It is going to be a, a string based trellis. It's really simple, really cute. Um, I'm going to make a vid video about it, but I have to find the pipe first. So I don't want to have to weld it. I just want to screw it together. But um, I need like one, two, three fittings, one, two, three, four, five pieces of pipe, all the same length. Don't care what length. So, um, yeah, it is what it is, and I will get it done in due time. That's all I can say. Um, I tried to look for the stuff today, but I couldn't find it. And I had so much other stuff going on that I had to get done. Um, I started out leaving here, went to the bank, went to the feed store. No, went to Orsland's, picked up the stuff for the truck, went to the feed store, picked up the feed, went down to Tractor Supply, got the fencing stuff, went from Tractor Supply down to uh, Mid America Feed, picked up the warmer, and came home. Now, let me explain. I went through all that was in different cities. Some of it was in different states. The bank is in South Coffeyville, Oklahoma, um, across just across the state line from Coffeyville, Kansas. Caney is in Kansas, but another town up, and it just made a big circle. Um, so I started at home, went up to uh, South Coffeyville, then up to Coffeyville, across to Caney, down to Tractor Supply, which is on the other side of Bartlesville. I had to pass through Dewey and Bartlesville to get to it. Then I took the highway down south, went across to Ramona, um, on over to Tallala, got the warmer. Came back up through Nowana, back up to Delaware, and then to Lenapa home again. So, <laughs> I left the house at 8 o'clock. That loop took me till 11, 30, 12 o'clock. So, yeah, it took me a while. 
Um, but I got all the fencing stuff, got the medication, got fly spray. I mean, there was everything so that I can work this week and not have to go anywhere besides the farmer's market. Um, all right, moving on, because in the fields I'm going to build that thing, and I've already harvested everything out of the garden. Um, we still have hay to get done, and we're waiting for a break. I think Tuesday is the last of the rain. I'm going to have to um, look and see, and that was something I was supposed to look up. Um, so once that rain passes, we're going to lay down the hay and try and get the rest of it harvested and, and get hay season over with. So, um, in the farmhouse, just busy, busy, um, trying to handle RJ's wreck, dealing with the insurance. Um, we have the car done, but the medical bills, within a week, they had filed a medical lien against RJ. Yeah, so we have stuff here from the attorney. A medical lien within... He was like four days, and he called the insurance and said, hey, and they said, oh, don't worry, we're going to pay it. He's like, mm, no, you know, you need to get with them and talk to them and blah, blah, blah. And then even today, we received a copy of the medical lien that was filed against him. I have tons of insurance. The car had medical insurance on it, so they're going to pay part of it. Then I have regular personal insurance that is going to pay the next part of it. Then he is Indian, so he has contract health that will pay the remainder of it. So he's got three insurance, and when all of that gets done, then we'll pay if there's anything not covered. It, it's ridiculous, but the three don't talk. Just saying. So uh, a lot of paperwork, a lot of phone calls. RJ is mad. They won't let me work the phones for him because he's 19 and he has to deal with it on his own. They won't discuss his medical anything with his mom because he's 19. So even though it's my car insurance, go figure. Um, I haven't really even worked on anything for On the Porch. Um, I did get the uh, shop back up online. Um, it took me a little bit because I figured out how to put it as not accepting orders and then I had to go back in and figure out how to put it as accepting orders and it took me like three days to locate that um, little tab on my shop. Hey, nobody said it was going to be easy to leave Etsy but I still have the Etsy shop. I just am scared to turn it over and not do anything with it uh, and, and close it out so I haven't. Um, um, I'm thinking, oh, yeah, the price of the soap went up because I think I'm going to have to, when I went shipping it out, um, it doesn't charge $3 per item, it's $3 per order, and it's $2.46 to ship a bar of soap. So, um, it's only $3 per order. And they want you to just do flat rate shipping. And I have a problem paying seven bucks. It's six ninety-five to do flat rate shipping when you're just getting a bar so for you know, so um I'm gonna work something else out. I think I'm gonna just flip it to free shipping and include the shipping in the price of the soap. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> Honestly, it's too much math for me today. Just saying. Um, uh, I don't think there's anything else. I really haven't worked on anything. Um, I've started a lot of things, but I've been, like, right now I'm getting the sheep pasture ready for winter. I need the grass to grow some more. And now with all the babies rehomed, there's less sheep on it, so the grass is growing like crazy. But that also means the weeds are growing like crazy. And I had to get out there and actually spray this one section that's just nothing but solid weed and um, when that dies out it's going to leave bare ground so right now while it's still growing like crazy I got out there and actually sp am spraying the sheep um, pen the problem is is that the sprayer does not work my husband hasn't finished rebuilding it I have a 250 gallon sprayer with no nozzles no hose no boom no roller pump 
Um, I threatened to sell it and buy one that I could put on the back of my lawnmower that has booms across there. Um, I should be able to sell that one and the other two pieces of equipment that he never uses and pay for my sprayer plus, you know? And RJ and him are both balking at that. They don't want me to do that. And I said, I don't know why not. Um, anyway, so I'm out there with a hand sprayer, one gallon hand sprayer every evening and I do about three gallons and cover that section that I've got to get under control. And I've got probably, I hope, like two thirds of it done. So you can see the flowers like dying over and um, you can see where it just has bare spots and that's from so many weeds right now and it's just, I'm not real sure why they're coming up right now because nothing else has a whole bunch of weeds except the arena. So I'm thinking that maybe the arena has them blowing over. So um, anything else? I really don't think so. Um, this sounds terrible, but I just want to go get a glass of lemonade and sit back and relax. Maybe turn on the TV, do a little knitting. Um, I, I got back from vacation and I'll be honest with you, I feel overwhelmed. Um, I've got Mary Mistletoe for the OHCE ladies who were very disorganized and they wanted me to um, show them how to make soaps. Well, I'm not going to do that because I don't have enough masks for 30 people. I don't have enough ventilation in that building. Anyway, so I told them that I would do lotion bars and then they decided, well, and it's their local fundraiser. I, I wouldn't, it, it's not a class or I'd just say, oh, okay, ladies, I don't have time. Um, it's not a class. It is a fundraiser that they raise money for a scholarship fund. So I donate my time, show them how to do things, and people come and donate to see, you know, to learn from me, um, which is fine. It's easy to make lotion bars. I think that's what I'm going to do. One lady wanted me to do wool, and I'm like, no. So they talked me into doing a demo of needle felting on dryer balls there at the fair. And then we had the whole episode with the petting zoo is now our responsibility at the fall fair. So, um, yeah, it, it's kind of a mess, but not really. And I'm feeling overwhelmed. So next week, I think Wednesday, I'm going to run down probably Tuesday because I've got to change out a chicken. <laughs> Another thing I've got to handle. Um, we donated three chicks which passed away from the community chicken coop. They, they got flooded and three died and we have plenty. Um, so we took three chickens down there and one, sorry, um, one turned out to be a rooster and they can't have roosters in town. So I have to take that. I have to go get that guy, bring him back and take a little, hen down there, which I'm pretty sure I know which one it is. It's the one that keeps hiding out and having babies, so let her go to lay in someplace else, because I'm done with her having babies. She, don't, she won't go back to the coop at night. She won't, you know, so it, it's time for her to go and be in the community garden, where she is in a lawn, tra uh, yeah, a lawn tractor, and that way they can collect her eggs every day. Um, anyway, so she's going to go down there, and I'm going to bring the rooster back here. Uh, I got with Trista and met with her about the um, Baker's Creek stuff and that that I did in Branson. Um, I've created a card for my soaps that talks about... I have neighbors acting stupid. It's Saturday night, so let's just park on the road and talk. Um, and they don't talk. They start screaming and yelling at each other. I've had to call the cops a couple of times. They come down the stop sign and just... I don't know if one's leaving, one's going home, whatever, and, and they just fuss at each other. Anyway, um, and they're, at least they're they're parked, but they're not yelling, so hopefully they'll go on. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, I can't remember what I was going on about now. Just a lot of little things. Uh, I did. I'm trying to hit the ground running, but I just have so much going on. Just so many little things. I'm going to go down Tuesday, flip out that. That's what I was talking about. Flip out that chicken. 
um, meet with the guy who's doing the fairboard stuff, see how many stalls we have, map out the petting zoo. I think we had, where is that? I have a piece of paper that told me. I'm trying to think. We're going to take Durf. Um, we're going to take Gigi, I think Hank, the dog, um, if we have an extra space because we can't figure out what to put in there. Will, um, Gigi, Will, Holly, Layton, Gonzo. We're taking Miss Thang, no, Pig Pig, whatever you want to call her. Um, just trying to think what else we were taking, but I don't remember. Oh, a baby calf. We're going to take Rosie Red. Um, we think that there's eight stalls. Oh, and then we're taking Golden Boy, um, the big rooster. Um, let's see, who else are we taking? I don't know. <laughs> but I have it mapped out, and nobody can remember whether there's six or eight stalls. Um, and then, of course, I have to take cookies. I have to go to Sam's and get a big tub of cookies. And then I'm supposed to see needle felting during that time. So RJ is probably going to have to run the petting zoo while I run back and forth um, between the needle felting and the thing. I think they want me to do needle felting like Thursday night, and then there's a dinner on Friday. It's just getting out of hand. Um, it, it's not that I can't say no. It's that I was going to be there anyway, so why not? kind of thing. And then nobody can kind of uh, nail down what they really want. So they're like, well, what if we do this? Or what if we do that? When they asked me and they said, this is what we want to do, I said, okay. And now they're kind of changing things. And I don't operate that way. I just get kind of frustrated and Bleh! because I want it to be the way I want it to be. And if they're going to change it on me, I should have the right to say no, right? Just saying. Um, I agreed to do the wool balls um, as a demonstration one night, but they had said Thursday night, and so Friday morning wasn't a problem. Now they want me to do it Friday morning while the kids are there, but I'm already doing the petting zoo because they said they want it on Thursday night. So we will get through it, and we will see how it goes. That's all I can say. Um, but I have a lot of little stuff like that going on. Um, just... Hogwash. <laughs> just all kinds of stuff. So I'm going to get off of here. I'm actually thinking I'm going to go get me a glass of lemonade and some ice cream because I'm hot. And um, I will talk to you guys later. I'm not going to get back to work. I'm not going to lie to you. I know we closed with let's get back to work. It's nighttime. I'm not going to get back to work. I'm going to stay up, um, probably crochet up some on um, whatever I'm going to put in the fair. I think I'm just going to do simple stuff like washcloth pot holders. I've got some needle felting that I did as a piece of art. I've got my soap I'm going to enter. Um, I need to do a bat and spin it. But I really honestly already have a ton that I've spun this year. I could just pick out any one of those and put it in, but I haven't. Um, I've made, I don't know how many different things, but anyway, yeah. It is what it is. But I do have a end to weave in on the hat that I think I'm going to put in. And it's a set. It's an ensemble. But anyway, I will let you all off of here. I will talk to you later. And hopefully next week's podcast will be better. Oh, and we are working for, I think, through the holidays or this winter, we might try this. Um, so we've got some things in the works. Uh, is what it is. I will talk to you guys later. <laughs> Bye.